What's going on everybody? Barbara and I just chilling here. Figure I'd do another dating story. I've done a couple of these before. Been on a lot of dates. 27 almost, you guys. I figure I'll tell this story. This one happened within the last year, so why not? So this was actually um, not too long ago, maybe like a year ago or so. A friend and I went um, to the beach in Florida uh, on vacation, so we flew out there together. So yeah, since I was single, I decided uh, why not download Grinder? so my buddy and I that went to get went with me we both downloaded grinder you know when you're with a friend or when you're on a trip and you're on grinder sometimes it ends up taking over the trip and you'll be at dinner and you realize that everybody on the, at the table is sitting there on grinder or talking to somebody or something like that and it kind of takes over the trip so we made a pact that we would only check grinder when we were at the hotel room not doing anything so while you're at dinner and while you're out on the beach and stuff like that if you're trying to spend time with each other no grinder it actually works. It's a pretty good rule to have. It actually works pretty well. I suggest doing that if you go with your friends. So I wasn't really looking for a love or anything like that. I wasn't looking for a boyfriend, but I'm open to whatever. And it'd be cool to meet somebody to go out with us or um, come to the beach and hang out with us or something like that. It's kind of what I had in mind. I was sharing a room, so it's not like I could really make out with a guy in my bed or something like that. You know, also, it's pretty fun to like, you know, go on dates or have somebody show you and your friend a nice restaurant or some cool local stuff to do so find this guy i mean obviously they're, they're all the same i mean it's not all the same but you know it's like oh it's grinder who is a really hot torso pick his stats say he's a tall muscular guy like i mean what other stats are there upper bottom <laughs> stupid so we get to talking and stuff like that and he lives in the area and we exchange face pictures and stuff like that and he is a police officer, which is pretty cool, and it's cool to talk to him about that. And he actually had some family member that had some eye disease that is really rare, and it was kind of cool to hear the story about that. And that's like my job. So he actually invites me to come over and hang out with him, and I kind of get cold feet. I don't like doing that. If I'm going to meet up with somebody, I'd rather it be like a coffee shop or in public or something like that. I don't want to just go to your house. It's scary to me. So I don't know. Some people are all about it, and that, you know, they're tougher than I am. I'm just, we're only there for like four or five days and um, he and I talk for the, like the first two or three and finally uh, I agree to hang out with him the day before we leave, two days before we leave. I agree that maybe we could like go have lunch or something like that. And I said my friend may have to come with us too, which is cool, like I don't be like making out or anything. We're just really looking for people to hang out with. He's like, well I work, I'll have to like come on lunch with you. So I agree to meet him at this awesome pier, which is near where we were staying. And the pier has like lots of restaurants and that kind of stuff near it at least. I decided to go, my friend wanted to stay back. He was like, you go on your date or whatever like that. It was pretty cool, but I think he ended up finding somebody that he was gonna hang out with, but um, that ended up not working out. But either way, so um, so I get a little like bottle of uh, uh, like some of the margarita that we had made and like walk over to the pier with it. And I'm sitting there drinking and uh, sitting on the side of the pier and um, this cop car pulls up and I get nervous. I'm like, oh no, I'm in trouble. I'm drinking out here in public. Um, I'm something bad is about to happen. And I actually like stash the bottle and then completely forgetting that this guy is just gonna show up in his cop uniform. And uh, he like gets out and walks closer to me and he's got his sunglasses on. And I mean, it's a big tall guy, but all I'm thinking about is, oh my gosh, I'm about to get arrested for drinking in public. And he's like, hey Andrew, what's up? And I was like, oh my gosh, I completely forgot that you're a cop. I literally thought I was about to get arrested <laughs> just for drinking in public because I don't think you can do that in Florida, you know? I don't know. Anyway, he was like, why? What were you, what were you doing? What are you doing over here? And I was like, I was just, I have a drink in here. And he was like, man, you're ready to party. <laughs> no, I don't know. We were on vacation. It was fun. Uh, anyway, I was so scared. Super sexy in his uniform. Really tall, blonde guy, blue eyes. Um, you can tell he lives in a beach town. He's nice and like tan and this uniform is so tight on him too It's like bulging on his muscles Yeah, so he was pretty sexy. So anyway, so we went to have lunch and ended up walking on the beach a little bit um, And then he says hey, why don't you let me drive you around and show you around in the town a little bit? Um, there's not much to see but there's a couple of spots so he ends up driving me around and uh, He like knows this like private beach and we go over to this. Uh, it's a pretty quiet beach there's like two people out there and there's a bench and we sit down and obviously we start like making out right there on the beach and I feel like if this guy wasn't in uniform, it could have gotten a lot worse right there on that beach, but it didn't. Um, actually one guy like walked by and was like, oh, that's sweet. Like, middle of Florida, it's weird. 
yeah, I don't know, a lot more would have happened, but he had to go back to work. <laughs> he was like, uh, I gotta go, it'd be nice to hang out with you again, and he was like, what are you doing later tonight? My friend and I had already made plans to go to this thing with some of the people we knew down there, so can we hang out then? I was like, let's hang out tomorrow, it's our last day. So then um, my friend and I are talking about it and you know, whatever. And uh, I was like, I'm not gonna blow off my friend again. I'm not gonna go hang out with this guy. So if my friend can find somebody to hang out with that night, then I'll go hang out with this guy. But if not, I totally wanna hang out with my friend. I'd rather do that. I don't wanna leave him by himself. And I like hanging out with my friend. So we look for him and talk for him for a little bit, but he didn't really find anybody he's interested in. So when the cop is texting me like, hey, are we gonna hang out tonight? What's going on? I was like, you know, I can't really find anything for my friend. And, he was like, what if uh, I came and hang out with you and your friend? He was like, I don't, I don't mind. I was like, all right, let me ask him. And my friend was totally cool with it. So um, we all went to dinner and it was, he's a really cool guy. I feel like the, we would have made great friends too. So, so then we all went back to the hotel and uh, we were, this is not about to be some kind of crazy threesome thing. Don't, don't even expect it. But uh, we like all lay in bed in the hotel bed and watch a movie. And I actually like fall asleep on top of the guy. It was really sweet and uh, my friend's like rolling his eyes all the time. He was like, all right, it's getting pretty late. I ought to go home. So I walked him out to his massive oversized truck, which is just ridiculous. He uh, is like, I'd, I'd really like to see you. Maybe I'll come out to visit Colorado or something like that. And um, I said, yeah, absolutely. It'd be really cool. Obviously we made out before he left, but then he left. And then now I don't even really, I mean, we talk every now and then he's actually dating somebody. And then I was dating somebody and the guy that he's dating now, they're adorable couple yeah I don't know I don't I don't really I don't he doesn't really have any social media or anything like that so it's hard for me to keep up with him but every time I talk to him he seems like he's doing really well it was an awesome experience that I got and so uh, I enjoyed it but um, yeah you know I consider him a really good friend now so that's good I guess it wasn't really super relevant that he was a cop but kind of um, if you guys like these dating stories be sure you give this video a thumbs up so I know I can do some more be sure you check out my YouTube for all my other videos. There's several other dating story ones out there if you guys want to see those. Um, subscribe if you don't already. Be sure you check out my social media, and I'll see you guys soon. Remember, never stop learning.